Hi all, I am creating a playlist in which I am trying to explain all the coding interview challenges. So to start with, I am trying to start with this uh, Fizibus, a basic beginner interview challenge. So 90% of the beginners would be getting this one. So uh, in this, I will be explaining you the two solutions. Number one would be the normal one. And the second one would be the shortest uh, uh, solution. So let's start with the problem statement. So we'll take a, yep. So see, uh, write a program that prints the numbers from one to 100. So it would be N here, I just have taken 100. So it could be N from one to N. We need to loop. It means by seeing the first line, so every time if you get any coding challenge, decode that coding problem statement in terms of chunks. So in terms of small pieces so that you can uh, uh, understand the question well and you can uh, think about the current cases, you will be getting some clues if you divide the question in this way. So that's the reason I have uh, created and divided the question in this way. So the first uh, point states that to print numbers from one to 100. It means we need to write a loop where I need to print one to 100 numbers. So, okay, fine. So the second point is, but for multiples of three, print fizz instead of the number. So you're trying to print from one to 100 numbers. You, are, you wrote a loop, you're trying to print from one to 100. But if it is a multiple of three, it means multiple of three, it means if a number which is divided by three, it's a multiple of three. So you need to divide a number while you are looping from one to 100, divide that number with three. So if it is divisible with three, then instead printing the number, print fizz. So that's a, a statement we have at the second lens. So the third point also states the same. If in the loop from one to 100, if you get multiple of five, it means if a number which is divided by five, then print bus, okay? And the fourth point which states is, if a number which is divisible multiple of both three and five, it means a number which is divisible with three and five, it means 15. You need to understand this properly because if both, if a number which is divisible by three and five, it means that number should be divisible by 15, three into five, 15. So if a number which is divisible by 15, then you need to uh, print this bus. So this is the, third point and the fourth point if a number is not divisible by all the above like a three or five or three and five then just print that number so this is all about the problem statement so let's jump and uh, write the code so as we mentioned the first point is we need to write a loop from one to hundred so for simplicity i am taking 30 or 45 to show 50, let, let me take 50. Yeah, I'm uh, looping this variable. So now let's write the condition. If, if the I value is divided by three, divided by three in sense, I'm using here a percentage symbol. It means it will return the reminder. I mean, if a number is divided by three, uh, I percentage of three, it means it will return the reminder. If the reminder is equal to zero, it means it is divisible by three. So then I will console this as per the question. Okay, so now it's fine. So now again, I need to write an else if. So this is because I need to check for five. So if a number which is divisible by five, uh, hope you understand this percentage symbol. If a number which is divided by percentage of five, it means it is going to return the reminder. If the reminder is zero, it means where we could able to divide that number. So we are looping I one to 50 and I one, if it is divided by three, we are getting zero, then we'll be printing this console. In the same way else if, if that number is divided by five, so then I, I need to print console.log bus. So again, we need to write an else if, we need to state that uh, if a number which is divided by both three and five, it means 15. If a number is divided by both three and five, we need to print this bus. So let's check it, this bus. So the last condition is 
if if a number is not divisible with 3 5 or 15 then just print the number so just i'm printing i so let's check this solution so before uh, checking any of the solution it's good to write and uh, while you are trying to practice any of the coding challenges write a consoles like this like console dot time and give a face bus solution so if you write this you could you could it means if you write a console time end it will calculate the time taken to run this piece of code so i am writing a console dot time and console dot time end you need to give the same string in both of them so now here you can find how much time the piece of code has taken to execute so let's check that in the browser so now you got one two because one two are not divisible by three or five and now we are not printing three because as per the problem statement we need to print fizz in the in the place of three and we are getting fizz buzz in the place of five fizz in the place of three as this is six so let's check at the 15 15 we need to get fizz buzz no we are not getting fizz buzz we are only getting fizz means something got wrong let's check that so why we are getting only fizz we need to get fizz bus for the 15 because when i is 15 it comes to this point i is 15 15 is divided by 3 so just it is printing this fizz and it is coming out and it is again incrementing to 16 so this is the reason we are not getting fizz bus for uh, 15 we are getting only fizz so what's the solution now we need to move this 15 to the top I mean, we need to have a number 15 fizzy bus here because a number which is not divisible by three, it will uh, it will check this condition. If it is not divisible by 15, it will go to here. And uh, if it is divisible by three, it will go here. So now you need to have three here. So let's check this. I have moved the 15 code to the top because if now if you get 15 here 15 divisible by 15 0 yes now 15 able to divide it by 15 so we'll bit we'll get fizz bus in the earlier point if i is there in the top only it will prove this fizz bus and will come out of the solution so that's the reason it it couldn't able to reach out to this if else so we have moved this to the top why we have moved to the top because we have 3 and 5 at the bottom there is no problem if we have three and five at the bottom because uh, 15 can't uh, both of the multiples can't be divided by 15 if both of the multiples are divided by 15 then we are getting fizzy bus this is the correct solution so this is the reason this is the logic main logic here we need to use we need to move the this if else statement to the top as per the uh, question we'd be writing like uh, if else if else if else and we'll be writing uh, here the last if else if would be the 15 but the first if should be the 15 so that's the main logic in this fizzbus solution so you can now find out the 15 is printing with fizzbus so this is the main main uh, solution so also you can find out here the time complexity it means the time taken to uh, run this piece of code is 1.9 milliseconds so let's uh, this is a normal solution let's take another solution so this is a shortest solution so uh, that's the reason i'm writing i will write a console like a time also here also i will take a time uh, short solution so while you're practicing uh, please make a habit of writing this console time so that uh, you can identify what would be the best solution and uh, the piece of code should go in between of these consoles so let me write a shortest solution now let j i'm just taking to differentiate j and j should be less than 50 j plus plus so so instead of writing these many consoles and these many if else i will be writing uh, we can use the latest es6 uh, feature and we can uh, ternary operator is not the latest one so just we can write multiple 
conditions in a single condition like this. So I'm only taken one console statement. In this console statement, I'm printing multiple of all these conditions. I'm uh, trying to reset with the conditional ternary operator, like I percentage of three. So the first condition is, the first condition is I need to print the loop. So I have wrote it. The second condition is that I should be divided by three. So here I'm writing three and I'm, I'm not comparing it with zero because zero here, if you get a zero value, then it is a multiple of three. So for example, if I is divided by zero, we'll be getting zero. Zero is a false value. If it is false, then you will be getting this one. If it is true, it means if it is I is divided by three, then you will be getting true value. So that's the reason we'll write this fizzy here. So, and uh, I'm writing one more console plus one more logic. If I is divided by five, if it is true, in case if it is true, it will be getting zero. Zero is a false value. So uh, let me explain you the ternary operator first. So I think that's the best uh, way. If I is I percentage of three, it means the number is divided by three. If the remainder is zero, zero is a false value. So false means it will not go to this empty string. It will go to this fizz. Fizz would be printed. The same way I part divided by five. If the number is divided by five, it means the remainder is zero. If you get a value zero, zero is a false value. So you will not get this empty. It will go to this value. If it is, if I is one, one is percentile of five, we will be getting one. One is a true value. Here you need to remember only one thing is zero is a falsy value. So it is a false. So that's the reason we'll be uh, printing buzz every time here. So, okay, fine. We have all the code to print three and five, multiples of three and five. What if, if you are not getting three and five? So both are null, then what I need to do? So you need to have a condition logical or print I. So as we discussed the last point uh, here, if it is not a multiple of three, if it is more, not a multiple of five, then you need to print the same I value. So here, if you check, if it is not a multiple of three, then you will be getting an empty here. If you if it is not a multiple of five, you will be getting an empty value here. So you have two empty values here. It means empty. So logical or if it is the previous value here, if it is an empty, it means it is a false value, falsy value. Then we are going to print this, that number I, I would be printed because this value and this value you are getting as a empty, a falsy value. So I would be printed directly. So what now you can ask me, where is the logic for 15? So if a number is printed with 15, so we wrote that logic as well here, because if, if you got 15, so 15 percentile of three, yeah, 15 is divisible by three. So you'll be getting a non-value. Fizzy would, will get this. Uh, and also 15 is divisible by five. So we'll get zero here and buzz would be printed. So that's the reason I'm concatenating this fizz and buzz with a plus symbol. Here I'm doing a concatenation. When we get a 15 number, it would be divisible by three and it will be divisible by five. So you'll be getting fizz and buzz. So that's the reason I'm not writing a logic for 15. The logic was resided in both the things just to have concatenated those values. In th this is a shortest solution. So let's check the complexity and uh, time. I mean, uh, which one gets executed faster. So to run this, uh, to write a logic like this, the shortest logic like this, you need to understand zero is a false statement so that you can write a ternary operator like this. If it is zero, it would be a false value so that fees would be executed. And for all other things, empty value would be getting. So if it, in all this statement, if it is empty, then the logical or would be taken as I value because this is a false statement. Logical or would be taken this one. So that's the uh, two things you need to remember. So let's check the solution here.
so i think uh, my browser is not working give me a second so let me open it once again i will close it i will open the solution once again yep i'm running the solution yep sorry and yeah, let's check out the console so okay i think there is some issue i i is not different okay i think i have kept i here it should be j yeah here also it should be j because in the loop i have used j so sorry uh, let's check this now yep we got a solution here now the first one is feasible solution it taken three milliseconds 3.2 milliseconds so the second one if you see one two fish and for the five we got bus and for 15 we need to check because we have wrote a concatenation here fish bus we got this for the 15 also so this is the shortest solution instead of writing those many if else statements uh, this is a one line statement also you will be executing 2.8 milliseconds for this it is 3.2 milliseconds so in this way we you need to practice the coding solutions so that's all for now thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos